filmed as he was taken away for treatment. This is believed to be the key suspect behind the LA airport shooting. 23-year-old Paul Ciancia was reportedly shot in the mouth and leg by two airport police officers before being arrested. In the shootout, a 40-year-old transport security agent was killed. Another five people were wounded, leaving one of the world's busiest airports in lockdown. In Pennsville, New Jersey, where the suspect's relatives live, police are helping with the investigation. His family apparently didn't know that he owned a gun, although there are reports the 23-year-old sent his younger brother a text message about committing suicide. They're upset. I mean, this is a shock to them. It's a shock to our community. Uh, at this point right now, you know, this is uh, the FBI in California and the FBI here in New Jersey. They're working together as a team. With no signs that Ciancio could be capable of this kind of attack, neighbours are struggling to understand what has happened. Even right now, I'm still trying to process, did this really happen? Did they get the wrong guy? Because if they told me that they got the wrong guy, it would make a lot more sense to me. I was just mind boggled. I mean, I just couldn't comprehend that, you know, it just didn't seem possible. Back in Los Angeles, his ex-roommate says this is completely out of character. He would always talk about documentaries he would watch about, you know, whatever. But there was never any kind of about any hatred or any hatred group or anything like that. He was a really nice guy, a bit lone or introverted, but nothing that I would ever, ever expect him to do something like this. Uh, he had an active shooting in Terminal 3. Reports say that he specifically targeted Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, agents who handle security checks at U.S. airports. He was wearing military fatigues, carrying a semi-automatic rifle and a note that said he wanted to kill TSA. There were more than 100 more rounds that could have literally killed everybody in that terminal today. And if it were not for their actions, there could have been a lot more damage. The 23-year-old remains in custody as police and the FBI continue to investigate how a gunman managed to breach such a tight security operation. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.